Hi everyone. The normal Slack and Salesforce integration um, works very well with normal Salesforce data, but uh, unfortunately it does not work with Salesforce reports, so you cannot simply uh, make a Salesforce report and show it up in Slack. Therefore, what we will uh, do in this video is we will create a workaround. We will use email functionality in order to get the report out of Salesforce. And we will create a special email address that uh, is linked to a Slack channel. So we can use this email address to make this report appear in Slack. If you haven't seen yet the video uh, how to set up the integration, that's the first video, and the second one, how to use the regular integration, please check out the two videos, they're linked below. And now let's have a look into the system and how to set up this workaround. Great, so let's look now in our systems how we can make this work. First of all, let's create a dedicated Slack channel so we can test this a little bit better. Let's call it uh, reports from Salesforce. And we will sa set it up so that reports will be sent into this Slack channel. We create it. And next we need to install the, the, the correct app. We go here to add apps and we search for the app called email. That's the app. And you can see here the description of it. There are certain limitations that are not relevant for our use case. The email itself cannot be larger than one megabyte. Uh, the, the email body and uh, the attachments cannot be larger than 30 megabytes. Um, there cannot be more than 20 attachments per email, things like that. Okay, let's add it now to uh, Slack. And here we are asked um, to choose a channel. So let's choose now this um, correct one. Reports from Salesforce. And what we receive now is um, really important. And this is the email address that is linked to this channel. Okay. Meaning that whenever we are sending an email to this address, it will show up in this Slack channel. I can, I will first of all copy this one. And save it great so now this is saved let's test this really quickly we will go to our to any email um, and we will send now a test email test email does the integration work Let's send it. I've just realized that um, we got notified here also um, directly from this uh, from this uh, app that this is the correct email address. Okay, and we got a notification that our test email arrived. So this already works. We can now use this email address uh, here in order to receive emails into this Slack channel. Next step is we go to Salesforce and we will set up this part of the integration. For that reason, I've created a report already um, it's a simple report that shows us all account names and it, uh, it uh, categorizes it by the type. And as you all know, let's have quick, a quick look uh, at this part. You can subscribe to reports. 
but the problem here is that you can really choose only subscribers that are in Salesforce, that are Salesforce users. And our Slack channel isn't the Salesforce user, so we cannot choose uh, the Slack channel. Also here, different types. I mean, we can send it to, to, to different uh, groups and roles and so on and users, but not we, we, we can't get this report data out of the Salesforce system by default. So for that reason, we need to install the correct app. Let's head over to the App Exchange and look for the right one. So let's go here to the App Exchange Marketplace. And we are looking for an app called Report Sender. So um, this is the correct app called Report Center by a company called Cloud Answers. You can find, by the way, a video I did with one of the founders of Cloud Answers just on this uh, uh, app where you can see more details and more functionality, how it's all configured. It's an amazing app and it's for free as well. So we will now install it great so we will now install it great now let's install it in our test environment and once it's installed we can set it up so we can send reports also outside of Salesforce the installation is complete and let's go now to the app and set up our first email. Click here done. And I'm looking for report. For the report sender. And it gives us a warning that we need to activate it first. And let's um, set up now our first uh, schedule. This is how it's called. We click here. Yes. We allow access. And now we can set up our first schedule. So let's uh, name it um, account report. For Slack, we search here for the, the name of the report. It's called Accounts Report by type. Now we can choose the subject line of the email, and also we could add some text here into the email body. Um, yeah, let's keep it simple here. Mm. Report the right accounts by type. Hi, please check the latest data about the accounts. But um, for now, let's uh, just go here with a standard configuration. We choose here running user. Uh, sorry, no, the scheduling user, which is the user um, actually um, that created the report. Now, this is important. Uh, send to email, so we can choose any email address that, you, that we would like in order to get this report out of Salesforce. And we need now to use this email address that Slack provided us with. And let's enter it here. You can choose here at what time you would like to send this report and the frequency also. You can choose if you would like to skip uh, the sending in case it's just empty. And here you can uh, also choose different uh, formats for the file. Uh, in our case, let's just keep it uh, simple <laughs> and choose uh, comma separated. Uh, file 
and we save it. Great, it's now scheduled, so it runs daily at the configured time. And there is a button here that you can send it uh, immediately uh, in order to test if, if, if all is working. So let's click now this button and our expectation would be that um, we will receive this report here in our dedicated um, Slack channel. Let's click somewhere else so we see if all works and we click now this button send now job is processed and we get a notification here and we also see that uh, some new information arrived in this slack channel let's go here great and you see uh, the email really arrived the report arrived um, all information was uh, was passed on to Slack and we received also a CSV file containing the data. When I click here, then I can open it up and you see all information really uh, arrived here um, and that's how we get uh, reports out of Salesforce into Slack. So in case uh, you like this video and the new functionality, please like this video and also please subscribe to this YouTube channel of SF Happyo so you get notified whenever I post a new video about Salesforce and about how to add new functionality to it. Have a great day.